Uh, yeah. Okay, more, mm. all right. Whoop. Here we go. One of the coolest things by far about the crowdfunding is that it really gave us the opportunity to launch something that we wouldn't have had before. Traditionally, I'd go to this business guy and be like, hey business guy, we're gonna take off our clothes and run around and act crazy. Do you wanna give us some money for this thing? And they'd be like, no, you guys are crazy. You get to throw it out there. And if you get accepted, then it's like, oh, we got a company. Oh, okay, what are we gonna do now? In crowdfunding, money isn't just money. It's not about the object that you receive. It's about you actually making it happen. What crowdfunding is, it's the cap on a long relationship where you've spent years creating work that resonates with people and that they can't live without. So they go out on Facebook and they go on Twitter and they go blog about it and they go tell friends. And the end result is that amazing things happen. And then finally, after you've done this, and after they love you, and after you're a part of their life, then you go, hey guys, do you want to help me create my greatest work yet? We asked for roughly a million dollars, and we got it in the first 48 hours. And it keeps getting bigger. This country is on the brink of understanding that. It's the largest paradigm shift since the Industrial Revolution. I think we're going to watch two elections now, where even really, really rich people that feel like they can buy elections are going to understand that they can taking this organism of the crowd and creating things that could otherwise never be done before. Before we needed companies. We needed a large amount of assets to start up something with a lot of people. Now you can do it yourself. The people have a voice. And that's what democracy was all about. It's almost like we started this revolution by accident. This sort of thing was always bigger than just us. <laughs> capital C. Crowd with a capital C. Nothing attracts a crowd like a crowd. It's going to be massive. We live in a new era. We live in a brand new world where all of a sudden the technology that is around us enables us to do the things that we believe in. Everybody got freaked. Now we're just trying to freak everybody.